Today on MTG Unpacked, we're going to crack open Commander Anthology Volume 2. So this is the massive box of Commander decks. You get four decks in here. So very cool. Looking forward to checking this out. So what do we get here? Launch an epic four-player magic battle right out of the box with this collection of classic Commander decks. So we can resurrect massive monstrosities with Devour for power, send fearless giants to crush your foes with Wade into battle, craft deadly artifact combinations with Built from Scratch, or grow an unstoppable army with Breed Lethality. So we have four 100 card commander decks, 13 foil premium legendary cards, four premium deck boxes, and these life counters are pretty cool, we get four of those. 80 tokens and a rules insert. So let's get stuck into this. And on the channel previously, we have reviewed the Commander Anthology Volume 1 that came out around the same time in 2017. We've also reviewed previously Breed Lethality. That was one of the early videos on the channel, so it didn't get terribly many views, but we'll see how we do this time around. So this is just an insert they have on the back there. I'll set that aside. And is this a product people are thinking of picking up, or have you already grabbed it at some point? Leave a note in the comments. And we'll be going through one deck a day until we get through everything so take it a little slowly here all right so pop open the cover oh very cool so these are the little spin down life counters or spin up whatever you want so we get four of those and then what is this thing in the middle Okay, so this is talking about the different commanders. So we have Devour for Power, the Mimeoplasm, Built from Scratch, Duretti Scrap Savant, Wade into Battle, Kalemne, Disciple of Erewis, and Breed Lethality, Attracts a Praetor's Voice. So that's probably the strongest and most interesting deck that people will be looking forward to. A little bit about Commander here. If you want to pause that, take a look. If you're new to the format. Alright, so we have Wade into Battle, Built from Scratch, Breed Lethality, and finally Devour for Power. So in this video we'll be taking a look at Wade into Battle. And actually this uh, box uh, costs about 150 uh, US at the time of this filming they're on eBay for about 180 so seems like there's reasonable demand for these and still though cheaper than buying the four decks individually you're looking at about probably 50 or 60 for each one except Breed Lethality that was hovering around 160, 170 last I checked so I'm sure that price will drop now alright so we'll set this aside and take a look at Wade into Battle alright so we get this cool deck box here and this looks like it's probably a good size for sleeved cards. So if you want to sleeve all those up, that's about the size of a 100 card sleeved commander deck. Leave a note in the comments if you are not able to fit 100 sleeved cards in there. Okay, so we've got quite a large pile here as would be expected. So I'll divide that into smaller pieces and if you're not familiar the commander decks have 100 unique cards aside from the lands so let's sort out the lands here we'll get those out of the way they'll probably intersperse them throughout 
So we've got some planes. All right. Anything else? I've got cards going everywhere. Okay. So tokens. Yep. All right. So what we will do? We'll start off with the commanders. So who do we have here? We have a nice foil mythic. So this is Kalemni, Disciple of Erois, legendary creature, giant soldier, 3-3-4, three, three, four, 4 mana with double strike and vigilance. Whenever you cast a creature spell with converted mana cost 5 or greater, you get an experience counter. So Kalemni, Disciple of Erois gets plus 1 plus 1 for each experience counter you have. So I'm betting there's going to be a whole bunch of larger creatures here. Okay, that's pretty good. Another foil, all right. Another foil mythic Anya, Merciless Angel, legendary creature Angel, 4-4 four, four for 5 mana with flying and gets plus 3, plus 3 for each opponent whose life total is less than half their starting life total. So you're going to be looking at probably 20 or less. And as long as an opponent's life total is less than half their starting life total, Anya has indestructible. So that seems pretty insane for a commander. And another mythic. We have Gisela Blade of Gold Knight. So this is a legendary creature angel, 5-5 five, five, for 7 mana with flying and first strike. If a source would deal damage to an opponent of a permanent, an opponent... Or, or a permanent and opponent controls, that's a tongue twister. That source deals double that damage to that player or permanent instead. And if a source would deal damage to you or a permanent you control, prevent half that damage rounded up. Alrighty, and then we move on to the deck proper, so we'll take a look at that. Okay, so let's get stuck into this. We'll start off with Banishing Light. Rib Swap, Dawn Glare Invoker, Faith's Fetters, Herald of the Host, Arescus Explorer, Orem's Thunder, Breath of Daragaz, Curse of the Nightly Hunt, Fall of the Hammer, Meteor Blast, Right of the Raging Storm, Stink Drinker, Daredevil, what the heck is this? Goblin Rogue. It's attached to a, uh, looks like there's a big ogre coming after him. Pretty crazy. Stone Shock Giant. Okay, so we are getting some large creatures here. Thundercloud Shaman, Angel of Serenity. So that is another mythic. So let's take a look at this flying. When Angel of Serenity enters the battlefield, you may exile up to three other target creatures from the battlefield and all creature cards from graveyards. And when it leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to their owner's hands. So five, six, four, seven mana. Pretty cool. And what is this? Arbiter of Norridge, Giant Wizard. So actually that's a rare, so I'll read through the rares. So this is a creature giant wizard with vigilance, 5-5 five, five for 7 mana. When it enters battlefield, each player's life total becomes the highest life total among all players. <laughs> so that sounds like a bit of a game changer. Dawnbreak Reclaimer, creature angel, 5-5 five, five, for 6 mana with flying at the beginning of your end step. Choose a creature card in an opponent's graveyard, then that player chooses a creature card in your graveyard. You may return them to the battlefield under their owner's control. Jareth, Leonine Titan. So this is a legendary creature, cat giant, 4-7 for four, 6 mana. When it enters... Oh, not when it enters. So used to that. When it blocks, it gets plus 7, plus 7 until end of turn. That's pretty good. Pay your planes, and it gains protection from the colour of your choice until end of turn. Oh, we've got quite a few rares here. We've got Kalimni's Captain, 
Creature Giant Soldier 5-5 five, five for 5 mana with Vigilance and you can pay 5 and 2 planes, has Monstrosity 3 so that ability is if this creature isn't monstrous put 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it and it becomes monstrous when it becomes monstrous exile all artifacts and enchantments okay Sun Titan that's pretty Beefy guy again, 6-6 six, six for 6 mana with Vigilance, when it enters the battlefield or attacks you may return target permanent card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, so obviously tons of rares here, I'm going to slow down on the, or speed up actually, so we don't need to go through every one of these. So this is Victory's Herald, Borderland Behemoth. Desolation Giant, Disaster Radius, Dream Pillager, Earthquake. We've got some giants doing battle there, that's pretty cool. Fiery Confluence, Fumiko the Low Blood, so that's a legendary creature. Hamletback Goliath, <laughs> Hammerfist Giant. Hostility, Elemental Incarnation, that's interesting, Hunted Dragon, and here we have another Mythic Inferno Titan, so Creature Giant, 6-6, six, 4-6 six, six mana, it gets plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn when you spend a mountain, and whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals 3 damage divided as you choose among 1, 2, or 3 targets. Then we get a Magma Giant. Maid, Magus of the Will, Sunrise Sovereign, and that is the first part of the pile here. And then we'll continue on. Let's see how we can do this. Looks like a bunch of lands there as well. They may be interspersed. Okay, we get a Torian Mola, Warstorm Surge, Blade of Selves, Loxodon Warhammer. Sears Sundial, Staff of Nin, Urza's Incubator, Ancient Amphitheater, Warchief Giant, Basalt Monolith, Boros Cluestone, Boros Signet, Cold Steel Heart, Dark Steel Ingot, Felwar Stone, and if there's any cards here that really stand out to you, or you've used them before, you've had some crazy games, leave a note in the comments, interested to hear how that stuff works out for you in Commander. We get a Dreamstone Hedron, Lightning Greaves, Mindstone, Sandstone Oracle, so another one of these weird Sphinxes, Soul Ring, of course! Could not have predicted that one. Thought Vessel, Worn Power Stone. Okay, so we've got quite a few Power Stones and so forth. Then they're going to put in some land. So we get a Blasted Landscape, Boros Garrison, Boros Guildgate, Command Tower, Drifting Meadow, Evolving Wilds, so you can search for basic lands. Forgotten Cave, Secluded Step, Smoldering Crater, Terramorphic Expanse. Wow, we've got a ton of different lands here. Vivid Crag, Vivid Meadow, Windscarred Crag, and then we move on to tokens. So let's set those aside, look some more at the mana here, so we have a ton of mountains and plains, so red white deck obviously if you hadn't got that by now and then the tokens, we have a cool looking goblin lightning rager it's an elemental creature, so we get a couple of those, saplings of course Probably going to get a ton of those. Yes. Okay, I'm not going to go through them one at a time. There we go. 
we get some mirrors. How many mirrors do we get? A whole boatload of those. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to generate tons of mirrors and saplings and giant creatures, all manner of things like that. Okay, so that was the Commander Anthology 2 Wade into Battle. So, very cool. And this one actually came out in 2015. So, what they're doing here is reprinting older Commander decks. Because uh, what tends to happen is the prices shoot through the roof, especially if they're popular decks. So I think it's much appreciated that they are releasing some of these, getting these decks back into circulation. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And coming up we have a bunch of the others. So we've got three more decks here over the coming days. We'll take a look at each of those. And leave a note in the comments if there's one in particular you're excited to see or one that you have used in the past. Alright, thanks for watching and have a great day.